Hello and welcome to the V-Ray how-to tutorial series. In this video, we explore how to render a hardwood floor using a V-Ray material. Let's start by creating the V-Ray material and assign it to a simple plane which will be our floor. Open the material editor and create a V-Ray material. Give it a proper name. For example, let's call it floor. Then assign the V-Ray material to the plane. Keep the default values of the parameters as they are good enough. Enable the Show Shaded Material option before moving to the next step. Create a V-Ray HDRI texture and load the floor image. Set the color space of the texture to from 3ds Max so that the gamma is controlled by 3ds Max and data is converted correctly. Then link the texture to the V-Ray Materials Diffuse slot. Next, adjust the floor tiling. From the modifier list, create a UVW map. Align the tiling by the Y axis. Let's try different values for the tiling. 250 is too big. See how the planks are too wide apart? Try 10 instead. Now the tiling seems too dense. Something like 100 seems perfect. Let's see how the floor looks. At first glance, it looks good, but floor surfaces are not that smooth. Let's add some tiny bumps with the help of a bump map. Create a new V-Ray HDRI texture and load an image for the bump map. Set the color space type to none. Link the map to the bump slot of the V-Ray material. Select the V-Ray material and reduce the strength of the bump map to about 8, as the default value is too strong. Now the bump looks better. Let's give the floor a polished look by adding some reflections. We can reuse the bump texture for this. We'll use an output map to darken the texture and adjust the reflection strength. Link the texture to the output map and set the output amount to 0.5. Next, in the V-Ray material parameters, set the reflection glossiness to about 0.7 to reduce the wet floor effect. Now that the floor reflects more light, its overall appearance is a lot brighter. Let's link the diffuse texture to a new output map and then use it to replace the V-Ray material diffuse input. Adjust the color map curve. This darkens the diffuse color and makes the reflection stand out more. Now we can render the final image in the VFB. Thank you for watching this tutorial on how to make hardwood floor with V-Ray for 3ds Max.